the song I Will Always Love You. I think because it comes from a musical, The Little Whole House of Texas, is whoever who wrote that musical. We can use Stanson, some guy in the 60s. Uh, David Foster wrote it. Yeah, that, but that's rearrangement. Actually, the owner, the copyright owner for that song is Dolly Parton. So every time Whitney Houston sings it, I should get up now. Every time Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston, what's her name? Mrs. Bobby Brown. Yeah, Mrs. Bobby Brown. Every time she will register in this society as the performer of the song I Will Always Love You because it's more recognized with Whitney Houston singing it. Uh, possible. This, uh, uh, the whole music thing would be, would be gotten to the ministry of friend so that it's checked in a better way. When artists are making money, we shall charge them income tax. You get my point? And that's exactly why I'm here. To make you have more money than I tax you more I mean, to meet my targets. <laughs> rights are very persuasive periods and are categorized into moral and economic rights. Now, when you have your music, you've got two rights. Moral. The moral right is the right that is uh, given to you for recognition. Yeah, what I want to add here is, we just talked about a contract. You know, these are things you can write down in your contract. Just in case, you know, you are on your own and someone asks you to go on tour to Eldoret. These things, if you, you agree on, you know, are you going to pay me my transport? Are you going to pay my accommodation? Who's going to pay for my food? What time do I have to be on stage? That you can write down as well. Just in case, you know, there's no one who can, who can help you with that. Because if it's written down, that's like terms of reference, you know, from your agreement. Then if something is not happening, you know, you just say, look, but we discussed this, you signed for it. Then at least you have a foot to stand on, yeah? yeah. When you talk of kapuka and uh, the hip hop and the uh, club music, it lacks identity. We started by taking that, copying Grand DMC, and now we are at ka -ka, ka -ka, ka -ka. So I don't know what in the next 10 years will be. So I think we are doing something that is very Kenyan. I don't uh, expect uh, people to blame young people right now that they're coping Americans, they're coping uh, uh, West, Western music, when uh, the reality is that's what is being played on radio, that's what is part of us, and that's what we grew up listening to, and that's what's part of the world. Nairobians, um, um, we identify with uh, who we are, okay? as in um, what I am. My neighbors have been mixed tribes, so probably my cucumber is not very good. Um, I can understand some Luo, like that, like that. And all of us are like mixed up, and so we have sharing, and we can speak this and do that. You have to have a plan. And business plan is not something that you have to go get an accountant at your DK. Do you listen to Swali Moja? He win more. Because you're so, you know, it's your personal thing. It's a thing you want, but who, am I targeting? When I enter that studio, so you can get a studio so you have two options. Either you keep it to show your toys. You know one day I used to sing Unaiweka Nyubani. Sawa, that's okay. If you want to do that, you don't need a business plan. Your business plan is only to have children who, will go, who will listen to that song. But if your business plan is to take that unit, and sorry to dwell on this, but I think it's very important. Not just today or tomorrow, but um, you know, Gorilla, how can you make money um, 50 years from now? You know, how can you be Ray Charles in this industry? You know, um, how can you be able to, to sit back at home, you're 70, 80 years old, and you're still able to make money from, from, from your industry, from, from your music, you know? Um, but for me, looking at the industry in the US and in Europe, looking at the success, successful music industries, you know, the one thing that's made money throughout time is product, you know? People make money from selling CDs.